Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and INF 2.0 is finally live, we finally did it. So it's time with the series of new features presentations today. For those who installed this already and went into the OSD, 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 OSD setup top, they might have noticed that there is something called maps and radars. So what the heck is map and radar and how is this supposed to help you? I will answer this question right now. I know map and radar modes are more or less the same thing. They are there to help you to orientate where are you, you as the uh, as the UAV, as the multi-rotor or airplane, comparing to the place where you are, that it's called home. So you clearly know where home is when you fly. Previous versions, there was this characteristic arrow pointing home. Someone suggested that maybe something better would be uh, would be would be nice. Let's call it like that. Someone else decided. Thanks, Shelley. I said, decided, oh, yeah, I will do it. So yeah, he did it and here we go. Like I said, this is more or less the same thing, brother and mode, to help you orientate where you are comparing to where the drone is. First, let's begin with the map mode. In the map mode, the home, the place where you were armed and took off, is the center of the map and you have two choices. Either the map will be always relative to the north or to the direction the UAV was when it was armed. Personally, I suggest using north because the detection of the orientation when it took off with auto launch, it can... <laughs> It's like looking at the map. You see here is map, you are here with the finger and here is your plane. So you, it, it point up, um, up pointing north and you know what's happening. If you know if you are south of yourself or north of yourself, you know what's, what's there. Simple, right? Nothing super fancy. The second mode called the radar mode is the opposite. The UAV is the center of the radar and the home position is just marked as a place on this radar, just like you imagine radar would work. So up of the OSD is what's in front of you, in front of the UAV, of course, and the back is what's behind. So you fly and you see that, okay, right now the home is more or less 45 degrees, it's 90 degrees. It, it, it's simple, it's simple, it's simple. If you have a need for something like that, here we go. Yeah, just fine. Personally, for me, um, maybe I, I don't know. Uh, it's nice. I tried it. I have it on the OSD profile switches, but uh, barely ever use it because, like I said, I, I I feel no need. Maybe for different for 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 you as a different different approaches to flying, you will find this most useful, and I hope so because really there th those are very interesting things. There is an idea to also overlay the waypoints programmed before on the radar and map, and that would be even better because that would allow you to manually fly missions not to rely on the on the autopilot, but you just know where the next waypoint is, fly there manually, fly next, but this is only an idea. Not Nothing was, if uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, implemented. It's only idea. So, maps and radars on the OSD, just for you. Take them wild and fresh. Have fun. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. Check out some links in the description of the video and until the next one. Ciao, ciao.